managing your kids and the new media. Well, the society is changing and luxury and wealth level is increasing from generation to generation. We've never had it this good for humanity, even though we are paying a price for it. Now we can do many things in the comfort of our home. We have had massive innovation and companies and businesses are getting prosperous. Human beings are making far more money to make them very comfortable. Chief, chief executive officers of corporations are making a lot of money that they cannot finish spending in their lifetime. Government is also ensuring that uh, people are paying taxes, even though people are also dodging from paying taxes. In a society where you have wealth and poverty side by side, there will always be a rat race for the poor to behave like the rich. You have a young chover who is also interested in living the luxurious life of his chief executive. We all want to use the biggest phone in town. We want to live in highbrow places. And we want to be seen as successful. Unarguably, you will discover uh, that people are entitled to the kind of life they need to live. But they must work hard and end the living. Crime rate is getting higher, and we have to watch this with our children. Telephones are not meant for babies. You could have telephone in your house, which is landline equivalent, but not a mobile phone. And you see situations where children carry mobile phone to school, very expensive schools, and the parents argue that they want to be able to reach these children when they leave school. I know our children are precious to us, but we have lived in a generation where we had no mobile phone and people survived. Some parents permanently parked a car in the school of their children or child from morning to closing time. They want to make them more comfortable. Yes, the society cannot be balanced. But definitely we have to create some semblance of balancing for the society. With the driver you have deployed to take a child to school from morning till evening may not have his own children in school. Yes, we will argue that he has created problems for himself, but he's also entitled to minimum standard. That is a matter for another day. So there could be landline in the house, but not a mobile phone. Mobile phone can do all sorts of things. You have radio on mobile phones. You have internet on mobile phones. You have WhatsApp on mobile phones. And you have various social media on mobile phone. So children, because they are curious and they have all the time, can go into sites they are not supposed to go into. Let them know that it is dangerous for them to try to use mobile phone when there is nobody there. Try and lock your, your mobile phone and ensure that you provide the necessary gadgets that can enhance their learning in the house. Also guide them how to use the non-mobile phone, which is landline. Let them know that in the future, they will have access to phone like you. They become parents like you if they choose to. Otherwise, they become independent and they can use phone anytime in the morning, in the evening, and any time of the day. Let them know that phones are very good, but it could be 
a time-wasting venture for their age. Now, we have been told that uh, learning is taking place on telephone. This should be guided. They should have a time you would guide them with their instructors or with either of their parents or with an elderly person who will tune to that channel for that period. There are certain things that are not for children, which we know, or rather that are not for babies. Definitely, telephones are not for babies. Yeah, for the use of uh, landline, it could be used only for emergency. And you see some children who on landline, like forever, talking to their friends, whose parents are also very rich. Look, it is very important to make your children very comfortable. But it's also very important to guide them. There should be time, they should do certain things, and they should not do certain things in the house. Get very good instructors and teachers who could even guide them outside the school. If you bring them up well, it becomes easy for you in the old age. Because even when you are running a big business, it should be easy for them to take over the business you are running. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do like and share.